Hi everyone! In this video, we will be sharing some tips on how to improve venue images on an event up listing using a free photo editing tool. In the previous video, we went over the value of having high quality photos on an event up listing. Many event planners direct their attention to professional grade photos to gather a first impression of a venue. So it is important to have quality photos, as this will be one of the deciding factors in whether an event planner will submit a quote request or not. At EventUp, we encourage listing owners to pay attention to the three following aspects when choosing their photos. Quality, size, and file type. The photo editing tool I am going to use is Canva, which has both a free or a paid version. At EventUp, we use the pro version of Canva, but I will show some quick editing tips that can be used on the free version. The first editing tip I'm going to show is how to work with images that are the incorrect size for event up. If the only images you have at the moment are smaller than 1920 by 1080 pixels, you can always add a border around them to increase the overall image size so they will appear to be full size in your account. By adding a border to the top or bottom or both, you can get the photo to frame correctly in the header. I'm going to first click create a design with a custom size of 1920 by 1080 pixels. In my new design window, I can either upload, drag and drop, or copy and paste my photo on my project. I'm going to stretch the photo a little bit to enlarge it so event planners can see my space without it looking blurry. Next, I'm going to go into the Elements tab and type border in the search bar and choose a border that will fit around my photo. While using the free version, Canva will still show some options that have a crown in the corner of the image. This means it is a pro subscription element and will appear with a watermark when using the free version. Once I've found my border, I'm going to further edit it by selecting the colors in the top left corner of the design screen and change the colors of the border to complement the picture I have. Canva automatically finds hues that are prominent in an existing photo on the page, so I will select two of those colors to match my venue photo. I can also simply leave the photo on the white background that is the ideal size for an event up listing. Another way to edit photos for a listing is to adjust the brightness, contrast, and saturation of a photo. It is important to know the difference between these three adjustments and how they can enhance photos when used correctly. To adjust the brightness, contrast, or saturation of a photo, I'm going to select the photo and click Edit Image at the top of the screen. This will open a sidebar of various options to begin photo editing. I'm going to go through the three main adjustments and explain what each one does. The first adjustment is the brightness of a photo. For this setting, the slider can either be dragged to the left to darken a photo or dragged to the right to make the photo brighter. When using the slider, I want to drag it in small increments so I do not make certain areas of the photo overly bright. If I want to revert the photo back to its original composition, I will just bring the slider back to zero. The next adjustment is the contrast of a photo, which alters its shadows and highlights. When I drag the slider to the right, my photo's shadows and highlights will be accentuated and intensified, whereas when I move the slider to the left, my photo will have a more flat, even toned look to it. When altering the contrast of a photo, it is also a good idea to try to adjust the brightness as well to find a balance between the two. The last adjustment is saturation. This has to do with color intensity, so more saturated colors are bolder and brighter, while less saturated colors are more faded and closer to grayscale. When I drag the slider all the way to the left, I am left with a black and white photo. While it's good to make sure there is vibrance to photos, it is important to use this adjustment sparingly so it doesn't look unnatural. If I click on See All, the adjustments will expand to many other options I can use to edit my photo. And if I want to go back to my original photo, all I have to do is click Reset at the bottom of the adjustments. A quick and popular option to edit a photo is to use pre-made filters or automatic tools that fix any photo imperfections at the click of a button. Canva has a variety of filters as well as the auto enhance tool that can be applied to photos for a fast effect. 
Both filters and the Auto Enhance tool have a slider to adjust the intensity of the effect. For this photo, I'm going to apply the Nordic filter to give it a slightly more muted effect and then adjust the intensity of it by hovering over the filter and clicking on it again. The last tip to edit photos is a common approach of overlaying or layering a screen over a photo. This is when a transparent block of color sits atop the image while maintaining the clarity of the photo. Adjusting the transparency of the screen determines how well the image will show through. Choosing a certain color of the screen will also alter the effect of the photo. To do this, I'm going to go back into Elements and find a rectangle to insert into the project. I will then expand it to take over the entire photo and then change the color to white. Finally, I'm going to click on this transparency icon at the top right of the corner of the project and alter the transparency to make the screen less opaque. I can also overlay separate colors as well onto each other. In this photo, I have split it in fourths to show the differences between the overlays. The farthest left quarter has no screen overlaid on it and is the original picture. The next quarter has only the dark screen, while the third one has both the light and dark overlays. And finally, the last quarter has only the light screen over it. Now that I'm done editing my photos, I'm ready to save and export them so I can upload them onto my event up listing. At the very top right of the screen, I'm going to click share and then download and choose which file type I would like to save my photos as. The three types of files that can be uploaded to an event up listing are JPEGs, PNGs, and GIFs. Once I've selected the file type, I'm going to click download again and head over to event up to add my newly edited photos. For a quick reminder of where and how to upload photos, please watch the previous video all about why photos matter. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please reach out to support at eventup.com for one of our event up experts to assist you in any way.